Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome to Bloxplode. So Bloxplode is a game that's sort of the opposite of many of the games that we play here in the Geek Cupboard, because most games we play, not all of them, but a good majority of them I would say, involve us building something of some description. So we might be building a settlement, or a town, or a farm, or a restaurant, whatever it is, we normally end up building something. But Bloxplode is a game all about destroying stuff and blowing things up, because it's a sort of demolition game. I mean officially, the official blurb of the game is that it is a physics-based puzzle game, but I think saying it's a game where we blow stuff up makes it sound far more exciting. So the idea is that we have ourselves a structure and it's going to be built on this sort of grey thing here and around the structure is this pool, pond, whatever it is, some sort of water level. And the idea is that upon the structure there's going to be loads of these little sort of blue cheeky looking cube things and the idea is that we place ourselves lots of explosives and we have to blow up the structure and blow up as much of the structure as we can and get lots of that below the waterline but also we have to remove these little sort of blue cubey cheeky things as well so that's the idea of the game so it's sort of you know it is a physics based puzzler because there is a puzzle for us to solve but of course it's just also about blowing stuff up, which sounds very wonderful. So this is an early look at the game, which does come courtesy of the devs, which is very kind. So thank you, devs. That's very lovely of you. And the full game is due to be released on April the 14th of this year. So of course, that means that this is only a preview version of the game. So it's not the final version of the game. It's not the sort of fully finished thing. But of course, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below. So you can go and check it out and wishlist it if you want to. And also there is a demo available as well until February the 9th. So if you're quick you can grab the demo and have a go yourself but I think without any further ado let's go and blow some stuff up and here we go so this is our first level and I think this is kind of you know baby's first demolition job because it looks relatively simple I do like how the thing that we've got to destroy looks like it's made out of proper sort of children's building blocks. I mean, my kids have got blocks like these. You've got the cubes and the flat rectangular ones and the archways and the cylinders and slightly bigger rectangular ones and all that kind of stuff. I do like that. I like that. That's quite nice. Right, so what we've got to do is we've got to drag on our little explosive thing here onto a place on the structure where we think it's going to cause the most damage. I mean, how big is this? I mean, could we fit it? If we could fit it... Yeah, just that. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect because that will knock these things out and then the rest of it will just tumble down. So, okay, right. So that's placed. I imagine we press the big red button and then it explodes. So there we go. That was an explosion. Okay, that's not done. Oh no, there we go. There we go. It took a while to do the job. There we go. Right. It looks to me like most of it's most of it's underwater. There we go, 98% wonderful. The more of the structure you can get below the waterline, the better your score. To complete the level, you must reach the target percentage, which I think for us that time was 85% by the look of it. So we got 98%. That's not bad going. I mean, it doesn't look like there's much sticking over the surface. It looks like there might be on the right there, a little corner of one of the larger rectangular sort of blocks there. But okay, right. Happy with that. Let's move on to the uh, let's move on to the next level and just see what that brings. Okay, so we've got ourselves a structure made of mostly arches. I mean, it should be fairly easy to destroy. We need to get 80% of these things under the waterline. That's fine. I'm sure we can manage that. But we also now have the grumpy blue blocks here. So these things all need to go under the waterline. If any of these are poking out over the waterline, if any of these survive, then it's game over. It doesn't matter how much other stuff we destroy. Even if we get over the 80% required, if one of these is still, you know, sort of hanging around on the surface somewhere, that's it. It's all done. It's all over and we have to try again. I think we should be fine with this. I mean, this looks like a fairly flimsy structure. If we just get, we've got any sort of, uh, any one explosive device again, but if we put that there, I think that's going to be fine. I think that will do the job very nicely. There we go. Oh, look, they've got, <laughs> they've got sort of, they've got slightly sad faces now. So there we go. So I think that's done. We've got ourselves that sorted and it's going to go to 85%. Oh, hang on. Did that count though? Hang on. Did that count? Because those blocks are sticking up across the waterline. They're flashing on and off. Does that mean we've not succeeded? We've got fireworks. So I assume, I assume that's a good thing. I assume the fireworks is a positive thing. Yay. Okay. Right. Well, there we go. So that is, that's level two done. Let's see what level three brings. Oh, okay. There's people on this one. There's sort of crash test dummy people who are stood about on these blocks. Okay. What do we do here? Oh, and there's a giant wrecking ball type thing. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Is that going to do something? I think when we press go, is that going to swing down? 
I think that might swing down. I mean, this looks fairly easy. Because that has a 65% sort of destruction requirement. I mean, do we just put that there? Do we put that there? Oh, look, the, <laughs> the block gets a sort of a slightly nervous face when we strap an explosive next to it. I mean, yo, that's quite understandable. I bet the fish aren't that bothered. Okay, let's see what happens here then. Right, let's try and zoom. Can we zoom out a little bit? We can just sort of turn around. Okay, right, so let's press that. Let's see what happens. Oh no. And then that thing kind of comes in and just, <laughs> just sort of floors all those guys as well. Okay. I mean, is that enough destruction? Is that enough? Yes, it is. 73% destruction. <laughs> okay. Right we go. That's, that's, that's an odd sort of thing. I wasn't expecting there to be a wrecking ball, but okay. So let's go and have a look at what the next level has in store for us. And now here we go. So this whole thing here, this big thing here, um, is is our sort of our level sort of path, if you like. So we have to kind of follow the route through. And when we get to the top here, I imagine there is a big, super tricky last level and that's it. And then we win the game. But of course, yes, we have to go through all of these levels first. There's many, many levels. But now it looks like we get ourselves a bit of a choice. So the first three things we've had to do have just been in order. I imagine they've just, you know, introduced us to the concepts of the game. Whereas now we've got to go either this way or that way. I mean, I know, let's go to that one, left. Let's go down the left path first and we'll see what happens. Okay, each of the structures can be made of different materials, metal, rubber, and plastic. Okay, metal blocks are heavier and harder to blow up, while plastic blocks are much easier. Okay, right, so these look like they are metal blocks. They look like they're metal blocks, I would say. We've still only got one explosive device. Um, I mean, do we put it under there? Are they plastic blocks underneath? Are they plastic blocks under there? So if we take out the plastic blocks, all this will sort of tumble down. Is is that the plan? Is that what's going to happen? Okay, so yeah, that comes down. Oh, it's not going to it's not going to work. No, it's going to hold. It's going to hold. No, it's not going to work. The the blue ones are still safe. No, it's failed. Oh, and they're looking all super cocky. Okay. Right. Give that another go. Give that another go. It's only 60% maybe. Maybe we need to put it onto this bit here, maybe? Give that a go. Let's see what happens there. That just sort of blows it. Mm, it's not, oh, they're tipping, they're tipping. Right, okay, they've gone. They've fallen in. So now it's just a case of, is that enough? Is that enough? 64%, only just. It's only just enough. Okay, all right, that's fine. We at least got through it. So now we can choose to go up here or over to here. Let's carry on going up this left route and then we'll go up the right route. Okay, this looks fun. 70% destruction required. Are there any blue dudes? Yeah, there they are. They're hiding inside. Ah, however, we have two explosive devices. Splendid. Right, let's put one of them just there. And one of them, I mean, one of them just... Um, hang on, hang on. No, go back down that way. Oh, no, not there. <laughs> Not there. Hang on, hang on. One just there. We'll try and sort of blow these sides out. That'll fall down and hopefully knock everything else down. Let's try that. Let's give that a go, shall we? So, they explode. Ah, they've not taken the sides down as I was expecting them to. Okay, they were tough. Uh, oh, time's running out. I think it is losing stability, but too slowly for us. Okay, never mind. Right. Give that one another shot. Maybe we take out the bottom bits i mean yeah can we could we tuck one into there put one just there and then put the other one into that gap there just nestle it into that gap and then if it blows the sides out maybe this thing will just fall down yes okay so the one of the cubes is out oh it's very wobbly it's very wobbly but i don't think we're going to get it in our time limit no no okay okay right so <laughs> that looked okay but it did not entirely work properly. I mean, okay, what if we put one in, hang on, turn that round, one back in there, nestle it in that little gap like we had, and then how about one, can we attach them to the side of these guys? Yes, we can, okay, try that then. Let's see if we can just blow those guys away. Right, there we go, so the blue guys are in the water, that's fine, don't need to worry about that, but 70% of that structure is not in the water. That is not gonna work, is it? It's 48%. Okay, they win again, even though you were in the water. Right, we need to concentrate on taking down the bottom of the structure. So let's put one bit there, one bit on the other side. Give that a go. 
Do they explode in order? Looks like they might explode in order. Okay. No, that's not going to do it either. Okay. <laughs> In true Geek Cupboard puzzle game style, we've been stumped on a very early level. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no, it's fine. We can work through this. We can work through this. I think, I mean, we've seen, we've tried to put them in those little gaps and it's not worked. Can we, can we get them even deeper into those gaps? Can we sort of drop the explosives in at all? We can't, no, they sort of, they sort of attach to these bits. That's not ideal, is it? What if we, hang on, what if we put these things at the top? What if we put one there to maybe blow those things out that way? That might cause then the top bit to fall in. Maybe knock the blue guys off. And then put that maybe down into there. Give that a go. So that'll be number one then. Okay, so number one explodes. Number two, right. Okay, that was quite devastating down there on that one. That's what we need to do, is it? Put them into there. Still not going to be enough. <laughs> Thwarted by an early level of a puzzle game. <laughs> it's a classic. Okay, so let's get you. Put you into there. And then put that one into... Oh, that's that's not exactly where I want it to go. Kind of try and get it... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Round this way, down. I wanted to get it down. Like that, look, there. Okay, so number one, explode. Yes. Number two, explode. Is it going to fall? It's looking properly. It's still not gone. Maybe we need to concentrate our efforts on the same bit. Rather than doing opposite sides, let's try the same bit. Now, there's probably people out uh, sort of watching this out there who are who are like structural engineers. And they're looking at this going, no, the, the weak point is obvious. <laughs> I am not a structural engineer, as you can probably guess. So none of this is obvious to me. Uh, let's go that way. Let's take this one out. So, boom. Oh, our explosive has fallen in the water, which has made it somewhat pointless. Okay, no, that that's never going to work. That's We haven't got the second explosion. No, 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 no. That's, that's all doomed. That's doomed to failure. Right. So, abandon that one. Try that again with putting that into there, because that seemed to work quite well. And then how about that just there? to try and blow out any remaining legs that might be there. So that thing will go first. Boom. Oh no, our other explosion has gone into the... It's gone into the water again. That leg is almost gone. It's, the, it's these legs here. If we could get rid of these two, we would be absolutely fine. Okay, right. Next time. Next time, cheeky blue blocks. I'm going to get you. Okay, so if we put one into there... Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. That's not it. Put one into there... And then put one into here. Just try and tuck one down. Oh, do you know what? There will do. Let's see if that does anything. So that one will explode. That one explodes. Again, are those legs going? Yes. Okay, right. That's much better. I imagine that's got to be. That's got to be enough. I mean, there's some sticking out across the top of the water line, but that's fine. There we go. It took us more than a few attempts but we got there in the end okay let's head off to the next level now this looks more straightforward than the other one but i imagine these are going to be metal blocks but yeah, you know, they're precariously balanced on this not metal structure so if we just take out the legs of the structure i imagine it's all just going to come crashing down so i mean just there seems the obvious place blow that up okay right i i stand completely corrected because that has not fallen over at all. <laughs> it's going. It was wobbling. We needed more time for that one, I think. Okay. Right. How on earth do we do that then? Because we need to have 80% destruction as well. Do we just put it lower down? Do we just put it lower down and hope that it blows the legs out from under it? That was really ineffectual. That was really terrible. That didn't do anything at all. It knocked a few odd bits into the water and nothing else. Yeah, that, that was that was terrible. No, not that. Okay. I mean, do we need to tuck it sort of underneath like that? And try and blow it downwards, maybe? Did that? That's that's not worked either. It's looking very flimsy. It's looking very flimsy, but I don't think it's done it. No. Again, it's it's not done the job. Okay. <laughs> We're being flummoxed by the very early levels in this. Um, okay, what if we just Go for broke and put one there. Right there. Blow those bits out. Okay. 
That looks better. And yep, down it comes into the water with you, blue block face. And there we go. Yeah, that's got to be good. That's got to be in the 90s. 98%. Splendid. There we go. If at first you don't succeed, just keep blowing more stuff up. That's how the old phrase goes, isn't it? Something like that. Oh, okay. That looks very... So Greek. That looks very Greek. So 70% of that needs to be removed. Okay. I would say we could put it in that middle pillar just there and hopefully try and blow out the pillars across the outside. That's gonna... Oh, no. That's not gonna be enough. That's not gonna be enough because it's not fallen over. It's wobbling. It's a bit wobbly. 62%. Ah, oh, how very close. Okay. Change that plan then. Try and do it on that one there so it takes that out and then maybe this one and then they can this will then obviously collapse because it will not be able to stand up that's the plan there we go and it all tumbles down and boom right that's got to be pretty good that's got to be very good and what percentage are we on 95 percent. yeah grumpy face block there we go got you with that one okay so we're heading on to here. So what we'll do is, yeah, we'll we'll get to here. We'll finish this block here. So we'll do this puzzle on the next one. And then we'll go up the right-hand side. Because I feel like we should, you know, at least try and keep things even. Oh, crikey, this could be tricky. 75%. The block here has got a, a metal block on his head, which I imagine weighs him down and makes him a little bit more sturdy on this beam here. We've only got one thing. I mean, what's the best thing for us to do here? And we need to have 75% destruction as well crikey okay what if we put one there what if we just put one there let's see what happens does it blow the sides out or anything it does but it's not enough to take that down he's wobbling but not enough and of course blue things fives so we don't succeed okay restart that maybe we don't put it on the outer one maybe we put it on the one that's on the inside like oh hang on like that there so it's kind of on the inside of the sort of archway blocks. So let's try that. So blow that up. That's a bit better. Oh, that was, that was close. That almost went then. That almost went. It did not quite go. He's still there at the top looking a bit relieved. Okay, so that didn't work either because that one actually survived somehow. Um, unless we try something completely different and put it, say, there... Maybe that'll move him across the top and cause the rest of it to tumble. Yeah, okay. That's looking better. And there we go. So maybe I'm trying to do stuff from the bottom because my brain says if there's a structure made out of blocks, if you take out the bottom blocks, the rest of it's going to fall down. But of course, they've all got their different properties of metal and weights and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, maybe, maybe just aiming for the bottom blocks just to get the job done is not going to work in every situation. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's have a look here. Yeah, look, they're all sort of metal, metal blocks. So how are we going to do this? Ah, we've got two. We have two of these. So let's put one just there and then one at the bottom and see what happens. So we'll blow the top one up first. So that's knocked the cube guy, but wow, that did not move at all. <laughs> it's, the, it's still in the same place, apart from he's just tipped over ever so slightly. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, right. If we need to get him in the water. We need to get him in the water. Um, okay, let's get one of our explodey things in there. And let's put one of them just there on the side of his head. I'm very sorry, my blue friend. I'm going to have to try and propel you off that way <laughs> with with some, some, you know, some explosives with a little button on them. There we go. Right. So that one will go first. Did nothing. That one did nothing. Okay. This is going to be our sternest test so far because nothing is moving at all. So he's not even gone. Okay. So how on earth can we move this stuff? What on earth are we supposed to do? I mean, do we put something just there and then just there and hope that it sort of tumbles down? Let's try that. So blow that up. Boom. And then blow that one up. Boom. Right. Well, then the cube's fallen off. <laughs> We've got him done, but I don't think we've got... I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing. I don't think we've got 55% of that under the water. 33%? Really? Really? Because of the cube? 
I mean, I'm not entirely sure what these are made of. I thought the shiny ones were metal and anything else would be not quite as robust as metal, but maybe there's metal and then really hard metal or rubber. That rubber was mentioned, wasn't it? How about, what if we took one in there like that? That might do something at the top there. I kind of think we need, maybe we do need to start at the bottom here, but what can we take out? Because everything just looks really, really strong and tough and sturdy. Um... And then one just there? I don't know. I'm, I'm, do you know what? I'm guessing you might have noticed. Oh, hang on. Hang on. That did wobble. That is very wobbly. Okay, what about if... What about if... Yeah, that's, no, that's not good enough. That's fine. That's fine. What if we put one under there like we did? That seemed to be pretty effective. And then one just there. Because that leg near the sort of this, whatever it is, supporting beam, like a leg of this top bit did kind of poke out a bit. So if we could take that out by using a bit of an explosion, no. <laughs> not a thing. I don't really know. I do not know what to do with this one. I am I am flummoxed. Everything seems impervious. It doesn't seem like we can do much to it. What if we just put one there and one there? What happens if we do that? Oh no, that's a stupid place. There, one there and one there. What happens with those? So number one, just does nothing. Right, so the bottom blocks are seemingly invincible. They cannot really have anything done to them. So it's going to have to be a case of trying to get those big, tall sort of legs, if you like. Yeah, these things down. The only thing is, I don't know how. What if we put them in exactly the same place? So number one will go off and cause a bit of damage and number two will go off in exactly the same place and hopefully give this enough oomph to tip over. Let's give that a go. I don't think number one is going to explode number two. Okay. Okay. It's still looking wobbly. No, that's not going to work either. Okay. Okay. How about then, if that's not going to work, what if we try... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if we try and put one of them up there like that because that's about the furthest we've done and it knocks him off as well and what about if we put another one on this side again law of physics let's try this let's try and get this thing sort of rocking around a bit is that enough to rock it over no <laughs> nearly it's nearly going but it is not oh, look look that's nearly off there that's nearly off i wonder is there something we can do with that? Is there something we can do? Right, hang on. That one there, maybe not on the opposite side, but on, oh, no, 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 hang on, hang on. No, not there, on there. So try that. So do that one just there, boom. Do that one there, boom. That was less effective. <laughs> okay, um, this one's really hard, this level. And I'm pretty sure this is one of the easy levels. I've been thwarted by science. Oh no, not again. Okay, I don't know how to do that one. I cannot work that out. I have tried many more times since the last time that you just saw on video. And um, and no, I don't know how to do it. I do not know how to do it. However I try it, it just does not work. So just to give my mind a break from this, let's go down here and have a go at this one. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this one can work. Because, uh, yeah, we're back down toward the sort of the easier levels there. Okay. Okay. We've got ourselves one explodey thing. I think putting it somewhere down here might be quite effective. Take out these legs here and everything will fall down. There we go. There we go. Everything eventually fell down. It took a while. I was a little bit worried. I think that's way more than 70%. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. There we go. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like when you do one of the levels. I hazily remember that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's a face. Hello. Um, okay. Do we just, do we put an explosive in the middle? Do we put it just there? Don't know. Let's put one just there and see what happens. That's, wow. That's kind of impressive. But I don't think that's going to be 72. Oh no, it might be now. It might be now they're all tipping backwards. We might just fluke that one. Oh, just short. Just short. Okay. What we do is then, let's put that maybe a bit lower like that. Let's see if that helps. So do that lower. Does that make any difference? It looks worse, possibly. It looks worse. Yeah, that's that's retaining. That's retaining its integrity pretty well. No, no, that's a terrible game. No, 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 that's rubbish. Okay, what if we put it over to one side 
What if we put it there? So that'll take this side down and maybe everything else will just sort of topple over in sympathy, perhaps. No. Okay, that bit's fallen over. But the rest of the stuff is staying up. So maybe the higher is better then. Okay, so like we've seen before, higher up is going to be more effective. Right, okay. Right, I'm really sorry. Really sorry, face. I'm going to I'm gonna strap a bomb to your eye just to see how this is going to work. Okay, boom. There. That looks somewhat more effective. <laughs> I think that's more than 72%. Maybe not loads more, but enough. Oh, it, it's exactly 72%. Okay, right, we've scraped through. I mean, I don't know if that warrants fireworks, to be honest. We've just, just absolutely blundered our way through that one. Okay, so we've got... 73% needs to be destroyed. There are these four guys here. However, I noticed that we have two explosives and these blocks are... Are they going to be all fancy metal ones? They're going to be hard to blow up and move like we've seen before? Yeah, that didn't do anything. That didn't do much either. Oh, but it is. It's falling. No, 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 no. That's that's not done it. I think. Do we work slightly higher up on that one? Yeah, okay. So the explosives maybe need to go there, possibly. Can you go in that gap? It'd be nice if you could fit into that gap. About there will do. And then maybe one slightly higher. No, lower down then. Because hopefully that top bit will be removed. So, number one, boom. There we go. And number two, boom. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now we've got ourselves... Yeah, that's going to be... What percentage is that? Oh, it doesn't even tell us because the blue guys are still around. Boo to the blue guys. Um. Okay, can we get one? I mean, assume we can't sort of slot one right into there. That would be perfect. Let's try... What if we try there and there? Let's do that as something a bit different. So do that, and then do that. Nothing. Oh, oh, there's a definite wobble, but that's not going to do it either. Okay, who thought a physics game puzzle about blowing up smiley kind of crazy face cubes would be quite tricky? <laughs> I thought it was just going to be a bit more straightforward, but no, there's actual sort of understanding of of sort of physics and explosions and things. Understanding which I clearly do not have. Um, okay, put one there and one there. Let's just try that. Let's try that for the sake of science. Yes. Okay, that seemed good. I think we need to do it again. I think we do that side and that side again. We, we do that side twice because it almost worked. It almost tipped over. Okay, so put them both on one side. So one just there. And then number... Whoa! And then number two can go right with that one. So number one explodes. Boom. Looks bad. Number two explodes. Boom. And is it going? <sighs> Not quite. Not quite. Okay. We need to... How are they going to fall down, though? Maybe, that's how it's a slow. Maybe our explosives are too high. Maybe they're just too high up. So what if we get one just there? And then put the other one just there try that let's see if that does anything so boom and then boom again is it going is it going it's <laughs> it nearly went it's toppling it is listing somewhat terribly but i don't think it's gonna fall maybe we're looking at this all wrong maybe we just need to take out one of these bottom blocks and then the rest of it will just all fall down so let's try that so try number one exploding and then number two exploding right that moved that block out quite nicely. It's not quite tumbling. It's it's dangerously wobbly. I think... I think we might be on to something there. I think that might be the way we go. Okay, so let's just get one of those. Put it just there. Bring it down a little bit. Bring it down so it tries to push that block out. And then put one in exactly the same place. To maybe then push the block out even further. So number one. And then number two. Is it enough? No. No, it's not. It is... It's it's going over terribly, but I don't think it's going to work. What if we try and push that block out at the bottom, like we just did? Let's have one... So, explosion number one knocks that thing out a little bit. So, let's put it, say, there. And then, while that's sort of listing around, just put one there. Maybe that'll be enough to tip it over, possibly. While it's tipping... Yes. No. Oh, it... I mean, bits of it are falling... Just not enough of it is falling. 
Apparently you can put the explosives under water. I was not aware of this. Is this going to help at all? Explosive number one. Boom. Explosive number two. Boom. No. It did completely nothing at all except make it ever so... S Ooh. Actually. Actually, do you know what? That was not as bad as I thought it was. Okay, nothing fell off, but it certainly did wobble quite a lot, didn't it? I wonder if we need to do something like strap that under there and then put one of those on this side, maybe. So one there and one there like that. So number one goes off, boom, makes it wobble. Number two goes off, tries to push it that way. No. <laughs> Okay, it was it was a valiant, noble effort that is not going to work, but okay, right, let's try again, again, again. What if we just put both explosives attached to these two unfortunate blue cubed face chappies here? Let's see what happens with that. Let's do a bit of an experiment. So that knocks them back and then knocks them back again. Oh my goodness me. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you are going to be a pain. Okay. That was the best we've done. That was the best we have done so far by a long shot. So what if we attach that one there and that one ever so slightly next to it? There we go. Let's try that. Let's see if that makes a difference. So boom and then boom. Right. Are they going to fall? They are toppling backwards. It looks like they're all in. Are they all in? Are you? Do you count as in the water? I mean, you're in the water. You're sort of there. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Right, so all that clever stuff, all we needed to do was strap explosives to their faces. Right, okay, okay, message understood. Now on the face of it, this looks pretty straightforward, because everything is just, you know, standing on these four relatively thin pillars just here. But if we put an explosive just there, is that going to take this out? Because there's quite a lot of weight on the top. No. So it's not as straightforward as that. It's not quite as easy as just going, right, we'll take out one of the legs and boom, it's all done. Um, I mean, I wonder if we need to put it toward the the bottom of the thing. Maybe take it out from the lowest point. That's probably also worth a go. So just try and strap that there. There we go. It's the bottom of the leg. No, that's not doing anything either. Okay, right. So it looks like we're going to have to try and tackle it from here then. I mean, they are, they're, they're relatively unsteady. I mean, look, it did start tumbling. It did start tumbling. So how about then? What if we try and bring it down from the top down? Only 82% of this gone. Good grief. What if we try and do that? That might be enough to then just knock the entire thing out of kilter. Knock all the metal bits down. Yes, here we go. The time. It's going too slow. It's going too slow. I think we're going to... Are they in the water? Are they all in the water? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I will say that was more luck than judgment. That was more pure fortune rather than skill, but we'll take it. Let's go to the next and let's see what we have in store here. Okay, so one explosive. We've got ourselves, yeah, these two here that need to go in the water. 75% destruction required. Uh, okay, what if we just put that on there for now? Let's see what that does. That takes that out. Okay. Why are some of the levels incredibly difficult? And that one we do in one go and it made it look easy. <laughs> How is that a thing? How is that a thing? I mean, one of those levels, the, the one that we just you know, did a couple, a couple of levels ago, that took ages. That one, one thing, boom, done. Goodness me. Okay, right, here we go. So this is where we got stuck last time on the other sort of branch, on the left branch. So let's see if we have any more luck with uh, the one on the right branch. Let's see if this is going to help. So 80%, um, I mean, my logic brain says slap one of those in the middle, try and take it out from the middle, take the structure out and see what happens. It is, it's it's crumbling, but we're not going to do that in time. Or are we? We might do it in time. You need to get in the water, blue face. He did. Unbelievable. <laughs> again, again, I mean, it was quite fortunate. It fell down at exactly the right moment. But there we go. So we've done that one. Okay, okay. Do we go back to this one? I mean, that needs a key. What's that? We can go up the middle and get to a key there. Or we can go to a key just here. Let's see what these keys are all about. And then we'll go back and revisit that really hard one that we just couldn't do. This crystal is very important. You must keep it out of the water. Oh, good. Okay, so we've got ourselves another thing that we need to think about. How how are we supposed to keep it out of the water? <laughs> okay, do we... 
use that explosive just there to blow the crystal onto that table and then when it's off there we then blow that up like that I I is that what we do that looks quite hard so if we blow the crystal up hopefully the crystal lands on the table which it is no it's fallen in the water oh you pesky crystal okay so not not that that didn't work so how about then what if we put it there not actually on the crystal but on the thing underneath and then put that there because that seemed to work that i think the blue thing ended up in the water so there we go crystal tumbles onto mm, it does not though because the crystal keeps falling into the water okay what if we take this down at a lower level and then blow that up like that okay so take that down at a lower level to see if the crystal tumbles on too that's straight in the water that was just straight in that did not even work at all i think i think we need to I mean, how can you keep it safe how on earth are we going to do that like that then try and blow that out like that so maybe that'll topple onto the topple onto the table and then put that on there on on, on the blue guy's face so is that going to be enough no it's not is it hang on hang on hang on come on come on table remain standing is that it i think the time's ticking down we've got a lot of stuff under the water oh my goodness me splendid okay good job now we can go yeah there or that we'll go here because we'll go to one of those keys we'll see what one of the keys are are you joking okay <laughs> right i think we put one of them there and everything is just going to sort of topple over domino style okay boom 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 and the crystal will hopefully now oh, bother okay right that that didn't work at all that that wasn't good that was not the plan um we need to get that maybe on the side just there so it's right on the side okay right boom blow that up that topples down that topples down oh that's perfect that is perfect <laughs> the one with the crystal on is wobbling but it's absolutely fine 66 percent. thank you very much okay again more luck than judgment but we'll take it okay so what's this this gives us a key or it's locked i don't know we'll find out i suppose what's going on here bomb marbles pot as many marbles as you can Oh, so we've got to place explosives and try and get them into... <laughs> okay. Right, that's fun. Oh, we've only got the one lot of one lot of things. Okay. Right. How did that go? That was... What, two? What, what was that in terms of percent? Hello? What do we do now? Oh, I see. Oh, right. Now we have another go. Ah, I see. Right. That one there then. So, boom. So that should knock a couple more into there. Go on. Go on. Go on, roll round, roll round, fall in. Yee. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's def that's defined the laws of physics right there. How is that even possible? Okay, and then let's put the last one there because that should explode, knock that into that, and hopefully both of those will go in. So that, okay, okay. That did not go entirely according to plan. That might fall in. Yep, that's fallen in. Is that more than 60%? 69%, wonderful. Okay, so they're like little sort of mini game type things. So they're not just a normal game. They're a different type of game. Oh, that's quite nice. That's quite fun. Um, okay, let's go to here. We're going to avoid the one that we couldn't do <laughs> because I can't bring myself to go back to it. Um, okay, what have we got? 75% destruction required and a blue cubie face hiding in there. Okay, what if we put that underneath there like so and then it might try and explode that out so it might knock this leg out which then might cause the whole top bit to fall down like not that that's that's that okay right that's really sturdy that's way more sturdy than i was expecting it to be <laughs> okay yeah 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 you survived this time blue face what if we put it there try that one See if we can blow it out from underneath those metal bits nothing not a sausage i mean it's very wobbly oh no it's it's going it's going it's going it's going 
you. One more second than we would have had you, blue face. Okay. Okay, what if we put it lower down? What if we put it just there? Is that going to work or is that going to do anything? That's just made it a bit wobbly. That's not actually done anything at all. Um, no, that's that's not going to do anything at all. It might start falling now, but that's way too late. So, no, never mind. I mean, we had it with that. That looked pretty good just there. What if we put it on the top of that one? What if we put, nestle it just there and then try and knock that out that way? Is that going to work? It's Again, it's very unstable, but it's not falling down, is it? It's not falling down quick enough. It is falling, just not fast enough. <laughs> we need another one of those. We need another explodey thing to make it go a bit quicker. Um, how about then? Where can we put it that's going to make any kind of dent? Unless we put it at the top? We just put it there? Just go, there you go. Hello. <laughs> just sort of put that, I don't know. How about there? That might be interesting. See what that does. That's just going to sort of make it wobble. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. Is it going to go in time? I think the blue thing's in the water. Is that enough? Is that 75%? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was good. Let's go to this one. The one that we couldn't get to on the left leg because we couldn't figure this one out. Right, let's go and um, go and have a go at this one here. There's a crystal. However, I'm not really bothered about the crystal. It's, it's just happily sitting there on its own. So what if we go and put a bomb just there? What happens then if we do that? So boom, down they come. The crystal is in the water. Bother. Okay. So what if we put it this side? That would have made more sense if I'm completely honest and try and knock everything over that way. Yep, yeah, that'll be fine. Oh no, of course, because the crystal's on a thing, isn't it? <laughs> Bother. Okay, okay. It's fine. it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There we go. Put it there. Try and knock it that way out of the way. So is that going to work? That's gone down. I think the crystal is absolutely fine. Yeah, it's all good. That's not going to go in. There we go. Nice and sorted. 77%. Only just. Let's see how we could have done much better. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to go back to this. Let's go back to this. Let's use all of our wonderful experience we've learned from all of the other ones to try and have a go at this one again. <laughs> Although I do not hold out much hope, if I'm completely honest. I mean, again, do we want to try and put things under the waterline? Do we want to try and put things like that, just to see if that helps? I can't remember if we tried it before. It doesn't look like it's overly effective, does it? Everything's just very heavy on this. Everything's just really, really weighty. Okay, let's try putting one across the top there, and then one down here. So slightly lower down. So one on the metal-looking bits... Then one just there. Is that going to knock it over? Oh my goodness me. Yes, it is. They all fall in. The only thing is, is that enough of it under the water? Is 55% of this under the water? Ah, oh, just... <laughs> Yay, we got there in the end. It was just kind of brute force then. It was just a case of just keep trying. Just keep pushing it over. There we go. Right, let's get this one done. And then we'll go on to the other sort of uh, little sort of mini game type thing. Okay, this is fascinating. We've got ourselves 60% needs to be under the water. We've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the grumpy face blue squares, and then a crystally thing. Brilliant. Okay, how about then we try and knock the crystally thing over onto this structure here, and then we just try and take them away that time. So, boom on number one. That's falling over. Boom on number two. Crystally thing has fallen into the water. Bother. Bother, bother, bother. Okay, that was that was not part of the plan. Crystally thing. You're not supposed to fall into the water. So you go there, and then you go. I mean, could we attach it that side? So it blows it out that way. So put that there. That should. Oh, the crystal's gonna go in the water. And there's the crystal in the water. Okay. Okay, so we can't do it that way. So it's gonna have to be higher up. It's gonna have to be higher up. Unless we try, what if we do the bottom and then the top? What if we do that? How does that look? What happens there? So boom, and then boom. Is the crystal safe? The crystal is safe, but so are all the blue cubes, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, that does not, that does not do it for us. 
Uh, yeah, this is going to be really hard. This is very hard. What if we put it there? That should knock it that way. And then put that one there to knock it that way. So let's see what happens to the crystal. So boom, crystal does nothing. That's now falling. Oh, I think it just fell off target. I think that would have been perfect. Okay, hang on, hang on. It's got to be a version of that that we just did. It's just got to be ever so slightly positioned differently or something. So put it, I don't know, there maybe. And then put that maybe a bit. Oh, that's, that's a bit fiddly, isn't it? That a bit more in the middle. Is that in the middle? Yeah. Okay, try that. So number one, boom. Number two, boom. Crystal, not quite reaching this. Not quite reaching safety. It's nearly getting there. It's nearly there. Okay, I can't remember if we've tried something a bit like this. That's pointing in that direction. So that should hopefully give it a good nudge so you tumble over this way. That's quite low down. That's quite low down, this one. I think previously we've had them quite high. So let's give that a go. So bomb number one goes off. Crystal falling. Crystal is falling. Looking good. And are they all going to go in the water? They are all in the water. <gasps> oh my goodness me. Okay, lovely. Thank you. That was tremendous. I like that was good. I like that one. I like that one. And then we've got this one here. So another special level. Now, is it another one of the sort of... Uh, oh no, we're going fishing. Bomb fishing. Drop bombs into the water to catch fish. Try and catch as many fish as you can. I don't think that's how fishing works. I don't think. Uh, yeah, when, when we see people fishing, they've normally got fishing rods and bait. I don't think they throw bombs into the water. Um, okay, there. I mean, yeah, again, it's not catching fish. That's just killing fish, isn't it? That's just, that's just killing some fish. That's... And that's only getting one at a time. That's only getting one fish at a time because, of course, that's how this is going to work. There's one fish under the bomb at any one point, I suppose. Um, okay. I mean, is there a requirement for this? Do we need to, do we need to, like, catch so many fish? I don't know. Can we have, can we have everybody just all in one place, please? We have lots of fish there. There we go. Boom. That was five, five fish, was it? Okay, five, and we have to try again? <laughs> but what's the requirement? Oh, eight. Right, we need eight fish. Okie dokie. Right, one just there. That is two fish. That's not very many. That was a bit poor, wasn't it? Um, okay, okay. Oh, there's quite a lot over there. There's quite a lot there. There we go. Get those. So that's four in total, is it? Oh, okay. Okay, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> that's a bit naff. Four in total. What is the, like, what's the explosive range on this? Oh, hang on, there's a massive load of them there. That's seven. So we just need to get one more fish next time out and we will complete the level. Um, okay, there, there's two of them next to each other. Boom, and that's nine fish. Hooray. Okay, I mean, the cube is very sad. Presumably because we're murdering all of his fish with bombs. <laughs> Let's get a fishing rod. Okay, so there we go. So there's a little sort of fishing mini game. There's the marbles mini game. I think we'll get this one done because then that means that, you know, our next ones are all on the same level. So let's have a little look at this one and see what this brings us. Hopefully nothing too horribly mentally taxing. Okay, no, it looks fairly straightforward. We only have one explosive device, which is unfortunate. Oh no, it's got a crystally thing. Oh, boo. Okay, hang on, hang on. How about, can we put that directly on the top of the crystal? Like that. And hopefully that will knock the two blue things out and the crystal will just fall down. Yes. Oh, that was, that was beautiful. I actually figured that one. I worked that out, everybody. I actually worked that out. I was a little bit worried it wasn't going to be enough in the water then. But no. That was actually that was actually thought out and yeah there was method behind it and everything i think though with our progress now looking nice and even on these three columns you know they're all at the sort of the same height we've not got one sort of column where we progress more than any of the others it's all nice and sort of even and regular i do like that i think we will finish things up for now because i think we've seen enough of the game for you to get a good picture of what it's all about and all that kind of stuff you know we've blown up many many things and we've seen kind of how it all fits together and whatever so yeah i think now is a good point to just wrap things 
things up for the moment. So there we go, that was Bloxplode, and I've enjoyed playing Bloxplode. It's been a lot of fun. It's nice to play something a bit different from time to time, and that is a very different game indeed. It's very, very different. I mean, the idea of the game, the actual basic idea, is really straightforward. Here is a tower made of some blocks. Here is an explodey thing. Can you put the explodey thing on the tower to knock down the tower when the explodey thing explodes? You know, it is very sort of base level. It's fairly straightforward. But as we've seen, it's not that straightforward when you have different bits and bobs like the jewels you've got to kind of keep out of the water. And then you've got the blocks made of different materials, which make it harder to knock over and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I like that. I like the fact they've tried to make it you know, a little bit different. They've mixed it up a bit. It's not overly straightforward. I mean, sometimes we were quite fortunate. We'd put one explosive down and it would just sort of do everything and the whole level would be done. But, you know, sometimes, as we saw, a lot of the other levels were quite tricky and we had to have many, many goes. So, yeah, that was very interesting. I also like the fact that they've um, they've made a little character of the blue blocks because they could have just said any blue blocks need to be under the waterline at the end of the level. And that's it. But no, they've given the blue blocks a little face. They've made them into sort of little characters, which I suppose gives you a bit of drive to actually get them under the water because, you know, they're there. They're sort of, they're there looking at you, mocking you, just waiting for you to fail. So I quite like the fact that, you know, they've given these little sort of blue things a bit of character. It makes it a little bit more sort of interesting. But yes, it's been a lot of fun playing Blocks Mode. Hopefully you did enjoy it too. If you did, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up today with all the other stuff that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. This robotic arm has salmonella on it. Okay, so we've got two things that are diseased. Be warned about Tutorial Robot. He's all sort of retro and adorable. I think he wants to destroy humanity. <laughs> Hungry humans, come and order some food. 74% efficiency, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. There he is, there's the murderous robot face. 